Brittany and welcome back to my YouTube channel. You guys, in today's video, I am going to be doing an end of the year reflection video of our second year of homeschooling. And I have Brielle here with me. Hi, everybody. <laughs> She's kind of shy right now, but um, I really wanted to include her in today's video so you guys can really get a full glimpse of all the things she got up to. I really feel so bad for my baby girl <laughs> because she really has been my full on guinea pig with her being my first and this is my first time really homeschooling. I really had to do a lot of trial and error until I was able to really figure out what Brielle needed from me as a you know homeschooling mom and all the curriculum pieces that she actually did really truly enjoy so you guys we're gonna flip you around and we're gonna show you guys like all the projects like all the fun things Brielle got up to this homeschooling year okay you guys Brielle decided she wanted to show you guys her actual flow of the day and what she actually did so we started off our day using math and we chose Saxon math you guys if you are not new here to my channel you already know we have had like a math journey this homeschooling year until I finally figured out what Brielle was looking for for in a math curriculum and what was going to work for her and Saxon math just happens to be the math that worked out for her we utilize Nicole the math lady so Brielle watches her video lessons in the morning so she doesn't need me she's able to do this independently the only part she needs me for is this part right here which is the mental math good job Brie that part which is the mental math and then I check all of her uh, lesson practice and I check her mixed practice as well which she's pointing to good job Brie <laughs> so that is pretty much all I do as far as my parent involvement in Saxon other than that she does it on her own so Brie do you want to show them your math notebooks that you used yes. so these right here are the math notebooks that she used she utilized these ones from school nest which I absolutely love uh, they have the grid paper in it so she was able to be able to practice being able to copy all of her problems down and be able to solve them so I really love utilizing grid paper for this I mean you don't have to get these bougie school nest notebooks but I just love them so much the quality is really really good so um we utilize these notebooks for all of her like math work so in total in Saxon this was like the most um consistent math curriculum we ever used so uh we actually finished off the year doing lesson 64 we completed six investigations and 12 tests so that is about the halfway point for Saxon. I have another video on my channel showing you guys like a, a full on review of Saxon math and everything like that. So um, right now I'm gonna go ahead and let Brielle talk and give you her opinion about Saxon. So Brie, what did you think about Saxon? I like Saxon. Uh, it was better than the other math that we did. It was better than the other math we did? Okay. Mm -hmm. So what do you think about Nicole the math lady? She's cool and I like how she um, explains the video. Okay, you like explains how she explains the concept. You like how she explains the concept. So how does Nicole teach it? Uh, she just gets right into it. She gets right into it. Okay, so Brielle likes Nicole the math lady. She's at that whiteboard, you guys, and she just gets right on into the math problems and she's able to do everything. So that is Saxon math. I'm so happy we found something that Brielle enjoys. And as you guys can see, Saxon's black and white and straight to the point. Okay, you guys, the next thing I'm going to show you is all of Brielle's creative writing. So Brielle started off her school year doing her writing in her daily journal right here. And um, she really enjoyed utilizing her daily journal. And what she did was she would just write down like her thoughts, her pictures. She would do poetry. She really enjoyed using this notebook. However, after Brielle learned how to type by using typing.com, she really stopped using her journal and she started typing up all of her creative creative writing stories and you guys like I am so proud of this girl of all of like the stories she wrote and she really really uh got into uh writing this school year so um if she didn't have time to do her creative writing right after math um she would typically pick up creative writing after in the afternoon so that was just something she did before she had her screen time so these are like all of the creative writing things that she did and I'm so 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 proud of her if you guys Follow some of my update videos you would have seen like some of the pieces that Brie uh, did uh, the months that she did and she worked on them so um, yeah so Brie um, how did you enjoy creative writing uh, I liked it because I could think of story and I could write about it <laughs> you liked it because you can mm -hmm. think a story and write about it and I could get inspiration from other stories too Oh yeah, all the stories you were reading. So yeah, so Brielle really, really enjoyed creative writing and this was just a really fun outlet for her to do. Um, this didn't follow any curriculum. This was just something Brielle completely did on her own. 
Okay, you guys, the first grammar curriculum program that we did was actually Fix It Grammar. And you guys, Brielle really, really enjoyed Fix It Grammar. Fix It Grammar is just a really simple grammar program where she is just going over one sentence a day and she is editing it and she is finding the different parts of speech. So uh, Fix It Grammar was kind of like a warm up and also to Fix It Grammar really came in hand when we finished off our main grammar curriculum a little bit earlier than expected. So we pulled out Fix It Grammar and we really enjoyed doing this. And it's just so crazy how they start off in the beginning of Fix It Grammar, like only being able to identify just the nouns. Yeah, <laughs> isn't that crazy for when you look at that and yeah. then at the end, she was being able to identify like the nouns, the prepositions, the coordinating conjunction. She was able just to identify everything. And like, I'm so, so, so proud of like all of her hard work. And I really enjoyed her using Fix It Grammar as a good way for her to really master and hone in on those grammar skills. Now you guys, Fix It Grammar actually completely revamped their uh, style of grammar. So now each of the days are broken off on each page and the way that they have their new set up is so 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 good so we are taking fix it grammar into us on the next year so for fix it grammar they actually wanted the students to write out their story after they edited it in a notebook but brielle since she got into typing so much she decided she wanted to go ahead and type out the nose tree story so brie what did you think about uh fix it grammar i like fix it grammar and it, it was like simplifying grind staff Oh, okay, so it was simplifying Ryan's and staff. So she's kind of already going and ahead. It's perfect to use at the end of the year because we were starting to get tired. Yeah, she's right. So Brielle, she pretty much just said that it was perfect using it at the end of the year because we were getting kind of tired. So this was a great supplement for us to add in. Now, now fix a grammar, to really be honest, you guys, it can really stand on its own as a full on grammar curriculum. But as you guys can tell, Brielle really enjoys writing. So I really wanted her to hone in on these grammar skills to really help out with her writing skills. Okay, you guys, so Brielle, she actually utilized Rod and Staff Build an English series as like her main grammar program. And we really, really really enjoyed using this grammar program it was very thorough it's a mastery based program where each chapter we are going to be going over just one part of speech and I love how it's systematically built upon each other writing staff really utilizes the diagramming of sentences really heavily uh, so it's a really completely different opposite approach than fix it grammar however I love using both of those approaches because at the end of the year after she finished writing staff and we went back to finish off fix it grammar it was really cool being able to see if she really mastered those skills or if she was really heavily reliant on the diagramming to be able to pull out those different parts of speech. So as you can tell, it's a trend with Brielle. She just loves simple, basic curriculums. Now, I will say this uh, curriculum is pretty teacher intensive because I do have to go over and read this part with her. Um, and then I do the oral drills with her and then she's able to do her written practice and review on her own. Most of these lessons we did, however, do it completely oral. So it took me between 25 and 30 minutes really heavily focusing on grammar. However, I feel like it was worth it for me to hone in and do one teacher intensive of program like grammar because Brielle enjoys writing and by her learning like all of these different parts of speech and grammar really really well this year I noticed a big improvement within her writing so I'm happy we took out the time and we utilized Rod and Staff. So Brie actually did all of her written practice in these composition notebooks she utilized using uh, different color pens and things like that so she really liked doing it with uh, different color pens. So um, we also utilized the, the worksheets right here. And these were like optional. We didn't have to use these. However, if it was any type of skill Brielle needed to master or work on a little bit more, we would pull out the worksheets. And um, sometimes when I pulled out the worksheets, she was kind of like, ah, the worksheets. But, <laughs> but in the end, it was worth it for her to get that extra practice when she needed it. So this writing staff also has the test booklet, which is right here. And uh, the test booklet just uh, allowed me to be able to see if she really honed in or mastered the specific topics within grammar. And it just was just basic to the point. Uh, writing staff is a really affordable curriculum. I wanted to highlight and show you guys one of her writing assignments that she did, which was a book report on, on the banks of Plum Creek. And Brie did an awesome job. Uh, she was only really supposed to write three paragraphs, but she ended up writing five paragraphs, as you guys can see. And this right 
right here is her rough draft so after she did her first draft uh, I went over it with all the edits and then she did her final draft and she did a really awesome job on her book report so you guys that is Rod and Staff so Brie what did you think about Rod and Staff I liked Rod and Staff it it was um I liked how it um built it up on each other and the lessons weren't just um just doing this doing verbs one day then adjectives next okay how to stack that so brielle is pretty much saying she liked how it was mastery and it just uh, went over one part of speech at a time and it wasn't expecting her to know nouns and verbs and adjectives all within the same day it just really took its time building upon each other and i really feel like this helped her a lot when it came to grammar so rod and staff and um fix it grammar you guys they're very very good both very thorough programs i really don't feel like you need both of them however we just chose to do two grammar programs this year okay you guys the next program we did was 180 days of spelling and word study and we started 180 days of spelling and word study in our second semester and Brielle she really enjoyed this program again it's just a simple thorough spelling program we used Evan Moore spelling our first semester and it went very well too one thing I will say is that 180 days it gave her a more variety of activities and I feel like it was a little bit more challenging for her and she really really enjoyed it so Brie what did you think about 180 days of spelling and word study I liked it um because it had the um, ones where you could do cursive and where you could um, change the questions into sentences. And it is a variety of different things, different things that you could um, do. So it wouldn't be boring. Okay, so she liked this one. I also had her fill out in her composition book. Uh, each of the days I had her fill out the uh, vocabulary words. So she was able to do the fill in the blanks a lot easier because each day she would define five words. And at the end of the day, she would have all 20 of her uh, spelling words defined. So this actually is not just a spelling program, but it's a vocabulary uh, study as well. So we really really enjoyed these okay you guys so we actually did two science curriculums this year we actually did the good and the beautiful mammals curriculum in our first semester so I'm gonna have Brielle show you her science notebook that she did so um, after each lesson of um, after each lesson of the mammals unit uh, Brielle she would just put her vocabulary words inside of this um, composition notebook and she would journal it um one thing i will say is i already have a review video on my channel about the good and beautiful science units i like these units however for me this was just too experimental heavy for me to be able to do this with both of my uh with um brielle and also having my two toddlers this was just too much for me this will be great for family style i really feel like we kind of put off science a lot because i knew it was going to take more of me and i already had other teacher intensive um what is it teacher intensive subjects but overall uh this science program it was pretty good and i would recommend it to uh family style learning but if you are just like me you have like one school age kid and two toddlers i really wouldn't recommend these units for you to use um but other than that i mean it was okay uh, i didn't mind it so brie what did you think about uh the science unit i liked it and um it was really fun to um, like cut out all the things and um, add the pictures and to like make the little puzzles and things like that. But it was also fun learning the information about each animal too in their classification. So you did like it. So yeah. So as you guys can see, we didn't finish off the unit. What lesson is this? So it's we. The bat the bats <laughs> so we only got to about lesson 11 so we didn't finish the last three of this but overall um these uh these science units i mean they're okay uh but like i said i would really recommend these for uh family style learning not necessarily for someone in my case with just one kiddo because it is a uh, very heavy prep and very heavy teacher intensive oh i forgot to show your uh painting your water painting you did oh, yeah. when you did the marsicles and she really enjoyed this one so it was it was overall pretty good now the science curriculum that brielle absolutely loved was god's design for life we actually did the human body and we did the world of um animals so we did in total three sciences this year um after i show you guys like her um what is it after i show you guys her science notebook we're going to show you guys her big project that she did for um the science unit in the uh, human body so this right here is actually brielle's science notebook and she utilized this notebook all throughout when she did the world of mammals 
and also to when we went over the human body. As you guys can see, we kind of really enjoy doing like these interactive notebooks and she really enjoyed this. Now, one thing I will say about God's design is that I really didn't like the teacher's manual that came with it. I really like going on Teachers Pay Teachers and uh, grabbing these uh, really cool printables to be able to use. And uh, Brielle really enjoyed these. One thing I will say is that um, I really found that the human body is such a simple um, unit. I really kind of felt like I could have did it without the um, using God's design. I really felt like I could have just did this one on my own. We watched a lot of Magic School Bus videos and um, yeah, I really enjoy all these interactions interactive pages that I found on Teachers Pay Teachers. So um, yeah, so that was two, or that was actually all the sciences we did this year. So Brie, what was your favorite science? The human body, <laughs> uh, or I should say the life science. Life science. So she said God's design for life was her favorite. This is one of the first activities that she had to do. God made me special. And I really think she did a good self illustration on that. And this is another printable from the, um, what is it from Teachers Pay Teachers that went along when we went over the brain. Okay, Brie, you want to show them your first project you did, the big one? Yes, this is the African Mammals Project. And I, and I did the African Wild Dog, the Giraffe, the Cheetah, the Zebra, the Mandrill, and the Elephant. And it has me writing about the animal, the habitat, the diet, life cycle, behavior, and interesting facts. Or like, or like, um things that um that inspired me about the animal. Yeah, so each of the mammals that Brielle did, she actually, it actually took her like over a week to do each one of these little fan decks where she had to write their uh, their animal, their class, their classification. She colored in the habitat and where they were uh, found at. Of course, they all were found in Africa. This was the African mammals um, unit, but she also wrote about their diet, their life cycle, their behavior, and the interesting facts. And this was just a way for me to do a mammals project uh, because we wasn't really consistent with the mammals unit. This was a way for her to still to be able to uh, have fun diving in deep into like all of these African mammals. So Brielle like did an awesome job on this display board and she actually did a presentation for our family during Christmas. And this right here is, um, no, not, oh, Thanksgiving. <laughs> <laughs> so on Thanksgiving, she did a presentation and this right here is her um, presentation that she read to everyone. So she did an awesome job on this African Mammals Project in the first semester. This is my human body project. Okay, so this is Brielle's Human Body Project she's gonna show you. So this is actually Brielle. I actually laid her out on this, uh, what is it? This uh, a, um, brown. Par parcel paper, yes, parcel paper. This is her imprint and what she did was we went on Teachers Pay Teachers and she was able to um, put in the different body parts and label some of them on uh, this parcel paper and she did an awesome job and under each of them it has like a flap where she had to like uh, write out what each of the body part did and their systems and it's kind of cool like how this uh, one all works out. So it's really, really cool. She did an awesome job on this uh, human body poster and she really enjoyed it so after we finished each one of the uh like the nervous system and circulatory system she will come and add it to her like big project so this one was a really fun one that we finished off this homeschooling year so brie which one was your favorite project the uh mammals or the human body Yeah, you did work on the, had like a limited time. Yeah, you did work on this one longer. She actually uh, had a limited time on this one because we were ready to start our second semester. So at the end, she had to like wrap this one up. But this one, she had all second semester to work on her human body one. So she really, really enjoyed it. Okay, you guys, for history, we did a lot of stuff for history, but our main history was Amazing Africa. So we utilized Amazing Africa, which is a heritage pack from Amber O'Neill Johnson. I actually have a separate video on my channel going over over in depth of our review of Amazing Africa, but we really enjoyed it. We went over 26 picture books in all 55 countries within Africa. And this is like the main reference book. So Brie, go ahead and show them your um, writing notebook that you did. Okay, let's, let's get past my 
yeah, so this is all of the countries that Brielle ended up writing about. And I really utilize uh, history as another writing opportunity for Brielle because again, she really enjoys writing. So as we went over each of the main countries within Africa, she wrote a paragraph about it. And as you guys are gonna be able to see as she gets closer to the end, Brielle really is like starting to write really full paragraphs. Um, she is writing like three paragraphs towards the end. So we really, really enjoyed doing this Africa continent study. And this was a part of our geography slash history study. But I do have a whole separate video of our full review on Amazing Africa. So Brie, your notebook looks amazing. <laughs> so yeah, so that was Amazing Africa Heritage Pack. Now for uh, Martin Luther King Day, we actually did this, uh, what is it, this free pack from the Walked Off Way. And it was a really cool pack where we did a week study on uh, who was Martin Luther King. Brielle was able to do a timeline on his life. And she actually did some copy work within her package. She did a watercolor on uh, Dr. Martin Luther King that week. We actually did some geography. And she also wrote a really, really good paper on Dr. Martin Luther King. So uh, she really, really enjoyed doing this uh, unit of uh, learning about Dr. Martin Luther King. And again, we spent a whole week doing this one. And she did an awesome job on all of these colors. So this again was a free unit from um, Jessica from the Waldorf Way. And these were the two books that we read. Who was Martin Luther King and the story of Martin Luther King. Now for Black History Month, we had a really, really fun time with Black History Month. This is just a few of the main books that we use. We use Little Leaders, Bold Women in History. And we also use Little Leaders, Exceptional um, Men in Black History. And Brielle, she actually had an opportunity to write some bibliographies on the people that stood out most to her. Her. One was uh, Dr. Charles R. Drew. She did a bibliography on him. She did a bibliography on Katherine Johnson. She also did a bibliography on Betsy Coleman. Uh oh, and then she also did uh, her last big bibliography was on Mitzi Copeland. So these were the people that stood out most to her. These right here that Brielle is showing you is just like her rough drafts and all the practice that she had to do to get up to her final draft on her work. And then these are some coloring pages that we use from puzzlehuddle.com they actually had some free pages so when we were going over uh all of the people within black history the people that really stood out to her she actually colored some pictures about them so we really really enjoyed black history month and i'm happy we carved out that time to be able to learn about all these amazing people within black history so um yeah so brie what did you think about black history month i liked it because it's because we got to learn about each black person having an impact in america yeah yeah so it was really fun for her to do this uh, black history study so um yeah thank you guys so much for watching today's video i really hope you enjoy seeing all the things brielle and we got up to this homeschooling year i'm so 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 proud of brielle she really did an awesome job and i really hope in today's video it's not like i'm really bragging on my baby girl i kind of am but <laughs> i'm really really proud of her i'm proud of everything we accomplished i really did not believe we were going to have such a successful homeschooling year because we really started off this homeschooling year really really rocky however we're so excited to start our third year of homeschooling because I really feel like we know what we want we know our groove and hopefully we have a good third year of um, homeschooling so you guys thank you so much for watching today's video I really hope you enjoy and I look forward to seeing everybody in my next one bye <laughs>